Hey kids, it's a dead body! Wait. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. We, uh, we lost a good character today, and Hifumi. Oof. Taka. Damn it, why did this happen? Toko? Don't tell me Toko too. Hmm. Relax, she's nah, passed just out when she's so bored. Yeah, pretty much. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? We tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her out for now. She'll be back and she'll be better in a minute. It's like you said, I should just leave her alone for now. Alright. Yeah. Dots. You got the Another dots. Another hammer. Person. It's ju now it's just this hammer four. It's even bigger than before. It's that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too. However, but why is it just her ha just his hammer four? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with just his hammer one, and the Fumi was hit with just his hammer two. But this is just his hammer four. What happened to number three? They don't know yet. Ah, uh, what's the matter? Well, I mean, when you mentioned just hammers three, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead too. What? what? Yay. I realize this is Also, yours. wait, you just read my line? Yes, I bitch. I was just reading. <laughs> just go. Hifumi's been killed. Yeah. Not as urgent as you made it sound, but you know. Which is why you came to get us. Then we'd better go check it out. Yeah. Of course, come on! So Sakura, Byaki, and I rushed out of the physics lab. Poor Toko. There's murder on the loose and we left her on the floor. Bye, bitch. Wait, come on. Sakura should stay there. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... <gasps> so I mean, she already started. Aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? S something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Hifumi's dead, right? Indeed. Well, that's not all. It, it's gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. The pronoun game. It disappeared. We love it in this household. Hifumi's body's disappeared. While you were in the room? What? what? What did you say? What are you talking about? It disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Everyone, back to the nurse's office! The same happened. Back to the chopper! Okay. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I I'm reached the nurse's the third office. Death. Completely. <laughs> that would be terrible. Completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Hifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? Means Why that. are her eyes, like, just mm -hmm. barely not aligned with each other? They... the pupils and iris the are... Pupils. They are. Um, it's because the shape of her eye and her expression that makes it appear that way. They are actually perfectly aligned, to my knowledge. Mm. Yep. So... Okay. I was testing. Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were only gone for like a minute, <laughs> and then when we got back, indeed, this must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this, enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all gonna die here. We're gonna die just like those guys died. What did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First, there were two minutes, and <gasps> now one of the bodies has been taken. Two minutes? Two bodies. Is that what it said? You said two minutes. Yeah, I asked if that was what it said. I misread it. It said two murders. Murders. Okay, got it. I read it as minutes. This is unnatural. Huh? <sighs> Hold on. What do you mean, two murders? Hina. Doc has been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It, it, it can't be ta 
cockatoo? It can't be. It can't be. No! Hina. Calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill all of us. <laughs> then who might the next target be? Toko? A gay, by the way, the deadass forgot about her. Everyone but Byakuya forgot she was in that room. But Byakuya didn't care to, to say anything. Wow. Woo! Wow. <laughs> yeah. Huh? What? I completely forgot she's the subconscious in the equipment room. What? <laughs> There's a murderer running around and we just left an unconscious girl in a room by herself. A rip, bitch. Ah, oh, uh, good. Well. Yeah, you left. You left her at the scene of the crab. We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she's still unconscious. Damn. Wait. So you knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. You bastard. Calm down, you forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting. Right now, we need to hurry back. Huh? I, I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Byakuya, if something's happened to Toko, I will never forgive you. <laughs> <clears throat> We're shot of the nurse's office. They're pulling up the stairs. Heading back to the third floor. We ran to the equipment room at full speed, and when we got there. Toko. Thank god you're okay. But right away I noticed that there was something very different here. I mean, at least we know he had to be dragged. It was gone. Toko's body, which should have been right there, had disappeared. This is. Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing right now isn't what I saw before. That is how that works. Huh? What? Are you saying T Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? <laughs> I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. Huh? We, we gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Hmm. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well, um. Hmm. When Ifumi's death cry went up, everyone was everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. Hm. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you were in love? <laughs> That's not at all. That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspect, suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than Hiro. <laughs> Which further means there will be no murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there would not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... Shing! Oh, mince ya! Mince ya without a second thought! Mince ya, grind ya, turn ya into paste! Oh, by the way, did you know that fish paste can also be used to refer to shellfish, like shrimp or crabs? Hm. Indeed. Let's see... So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Mm, incorrect. They can absolutely kill a third person and die themselves. Or they could take two people with them and die themselves. They don't have to win. If they wanted to murder, they can murder. Perhaps. 
You knew that from the very beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. <laughs> I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Oh, anyway, with that mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. Except that, once again, if this person was doing it not to win, then they could absolutely still kill people. You, you do realize that Toko is a murderer. So if she wanted to well, kill, she I could mean, kill. Well, I mean, if they're hiding their identity with a costume, they probably do care about being found out. Either that, or they've gone psycho. Stares over at Taka, who has combined himself with Mondo. Mm. He was still a good guy. He didn't even actually curse. <laughs> he thought he was. In his mind, he was cursing. It's all about intention. <laughs> the two missing bodies. Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. And, but is, it, is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Hey, Makoto, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Hm. Whatever, we need to find those bodies. Our little narrative here can't move forward. So then... Very well, let us split up and begin searching. There's no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. Because, I mean... I, I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... Actually, even better. Uh, Hero's an idiot, so if he was the killer, he would probably try to kill a third person. Yeah, he probably wouldn't have even read the rules. Yeah, so uh, everyone's still in danger, and then Hero will die, and then we don't have a class trial. And I don't get coins. Don't let that happen. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Okay, thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell if at, yell out if you find everything. Just to be sure. Um, <sighs> two can happen during any one. It doesn't matter who killed the people, correct? Um. Yes. Yes. What what happens if two people on opposite sides of the school were to kill someone at the exact same time? I don't know, but I know that Monokuma makes a stipulation that uh, only the person who killed first would take precedence. Okay, and the other person would just be considered a... I don't know. Uh, a complex. But they would just do the, the school trial for the first person. Yeah, I'm just wondering what would happen if like the exact same moment two people were to be stabbed oh, through the heart. I don't know, man. I don't have these answers for you. I'm, I'm just saying, like, there should always be... You know be... what answer I do have? Hmm. I know where we're supposed to go. But, depends on if that's where you want to go. Byakuya left the equipment room fold by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. So, is there anything you want to check out? I mean, there's nothing really to check out, considering we're just supposed to be looking for the bodies. Okay, so what do you want to do? So, if, do you want to go straight to them? Um... Because that'll lead us into investigation. Well, I mean, we... Well, we're already in investigation, yeah. but... Okay, just a second. We'll do even more investigation. If you had to take a guess, where do you think they are? That's what I'm looking around. Mm -hmm. I can give you a hint if you want. It's obviously in Sayaka's room. Definitely. Is it on the second or third floor? I won't say that, but I'll give you a hint. Okay, go for it. It's a room that we have not been in yet. That's it. Okay. Well, we've only been in it once, I think. So I think you did check it out, though. I guess I'll go... Yeah, this that's is the it. art room. Yeah, so I that's just where Hina and Celeste are. Them. Or Celeste, Hina, and Sakura. Since I want to get their input. Damn. We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Huh? Where could... 
two dead bodies have disappeared to. No. Rattle, rattle. Huh? The door must be locked. No. Damn. Wild. I didn't know they did that. Okay. Kooky. I thought to check that room and... Okay, I guess we need to go talk to people. I guess. Because that is, that's it. That's where they are, so yep. I don't know. Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Try finding Kyoko. See if you can locate Kyoko anywhere. Okay, I guess I have to walk around the school because no one else is in the school, apparently. Byakuya mm. has disappeared. Have they gone to the dorm? I went to the- No, you looked at the dorm. I, don't I looked know, everywhere. Man. Everyone is missing. Wait. They found a way out of the school without us, assholes! <laughs> exactly. What? I'm not even allowed to- So I guess check around this floor. I don't like that post. You don't like being tired of this? No, I just don't like the way he was drawn. Uh huh. Draw him like one of your French girls. No. These are some weird classroom designs. Despair Squadron. <sighs> okay. Makoto! Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean. Indeed. I found them. Hifumi and Taka's bodies are both hidden in the repository. The door was locked, but, you know... Yeah, I guess we're not allowed to go in there. We have to wait. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository? The police are trying to check, but the door was locked? And weren't Hina and Sakura, like, in front of it? Like, in the room? They were, them? but I think they left, because they probably saw that it was locked, and then just dipped. Yeah, so... How the hell did she manage to pick a lock? I don't know, man. Story. Are the bodies here somewhere? Hmm. I have to wonder where they could have been hidden. Up ahead is the repository. The doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked. And I have no chance, no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw... The two bodies that had been dis disappeared, that had disappeared, were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like... The class trial will begin! We only heard that once before, right? Yeah. That means one of them might not have been dead. Rip. Now they are. <laughs> yeah. If we only heard it the one time when multiple people had found the body, that means one of them wasn't dead when we originally found them. They were knocked out. Hmm. And so here we are! Without further ado, Kuma let me give you all the next Monokuma file! I was gonna hand them out when we found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right! Stop Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later! Hmm. Well then, now that we found the bodies, let's all that's left to do. Well, now, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Uh, hold on. How can you be so so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. That's terrible. Dead, gone forever. They're never coming back. 
awful. This is all just too awful. Ina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Like, you don't need to put the head on your lap. You, you could have, like, gone to the side. That's gross. Why? Why? Large wet tears fall from her eyes. The tears land on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some world of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. This wasn't. She's alive again? Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Okay, Game of Thrones, calm down there, buddy. You're dying. Me, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Uh, the light, it's reaching out to me like. The tail of a comet. Hey, Hifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who... Who did kill you? Me? He's right. dying. I remember... Their name... Y Yasu... Hiro... His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute, undeniable death. Yeah, Makoto, you're not a reliable narrator. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. This isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bone. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with un unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hagakurai. That's the only person he could have been referring to. So, in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Fumi, and then going so far to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? What is this? If it's the truth, I can't forgive him! No way can I ever forgive him! To kill two of our friends! Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although, this time it's not all life or death. This trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yeah, it does look that way. Yeah, it's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but go to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. Damn, Makoto, you think you gotta go through this one more time? We're at, tra we're at chapter three. Yeah, yeah, three out of four, obviously. <laughs> yes, There aren't that definitely. many of us left. At first, we're gonna mm. check the file. The victims were Fumi Yamada and Kiyotake Shimaru. The cause of death was each for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it. Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem, after all. The events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened in the Monokuma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. 
There's something else that's bothering me. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Tifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Don't be rude! I'm here to answer your question! What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial! Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and Stitch Murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate! So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Aw, oh, hey boy! In Miss you! Words, so basically, you can have, be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So are you saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry, I can't answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, only one black can graduate and the accomplice gets nothing. So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who... Who the one black it is and did the killing right just like normal the issue is that yes she's correct everyone's correct Kyoko was with us when the initial attack happened but no one was dead at that point well the point is that the person who attacked them is the person who killed them so if it wasn't her it can't be her unless that she was a unless that Yasuhiro was an accomplice not the murderer Yasuhiro may have done the initial attacking and Kyoko finished off the Fumi, thus starting the thing and making herself blackened. Do you think Kyoko's a murderer? No, I don't think Kyoko's a murderer, but that doesn't mean she isn't. And okay. it can't be as simple as the person everyone thinks it is is... Can't it? What if it's a double red herring? Boom, boom. Then we would have to do nothing and we'd win. I know. Well? Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial... I sure like shebang is the word. When we were playing when we were playing bang the card bang, I was reading a shebang as the character, not shebang. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Right. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... The one true blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened is just one person. Well, now. That's enough for the explainifying. Now it's time for the final battle between all of you and the black and good luck to all the contestants. So there was one. I love the blackened. pictures on the wall. So yeah, same. I've been staring at it the entire time. That fat, whatever the fuck it is, in that tree, mm, beautiful. Okay, an accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. You may be right. Um... If that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? Tied up and ready to starve to death, so at the next the the start of the next trial, she'll be the first dead body. However, as long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed, I have absolutely no doubt the hero is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um. You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! What? <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> what the fuck? What? I'm offended! I, I just, I'm confused how she just popped up in here. How did she know we were in here? Oh. You... When did you... <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, Master! When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found! Anyway, you there, milk sack swimmer girl! Huh? Milk sack? Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. What? So what? I'm like a special... 
special guest every time. I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Fumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Unless she just laid back down there to fuck with people. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Fumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Sure, I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is strange. All but one of us have an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Monokum file number three has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook.